in this video i'm going to simulate uh, emitter fall layer using multi stream aim of the experiment is to design and test emitter fall layer uh, the circuit diagram is this is a circuit diagram of emitter fall layer input is given between base 2 meter this is a npn type transistor and the output is taken across emitter this arrow mark indicates that this is the emitter it's a symbol of transistor we need two resistor this is for bias in the transistor voltage divider bias and input is given here and output is given. here output should follow the input uh, that is the meaning of uh, emitter follower emitter follows base voltage emitter follows base voltage that is output follows input voltage the voltage gain is actually one here because output same as input but the current gain will be very high okay so we have to simulate this using a multi-stream tool so let us go theory common emitter this uh, emitter follower is also referred as common emitter amplifier okay because the output uh, voltage output voltage signal at the emitter is approximately equal to the now output voltage is equal to the uh, uh, input voltage it's called as emitter uh, voltage follower actually okay emitter follower means emitter follows the uh, base input voltage that's why it's called as follower emitter follower the important features of the emitter followers are this circuit has high input impedance and it has low output impedance and wherever impedance matching is required uh, we can use this circuit for impedance matching and uh, because the collector is at the alternating current ground uh, the circuit is also referred as common collector plus amplifier okay so this is a theory part the designing you can refer a manual for designing so i'll just simulate this circuit and i'll show the output how output follows the means so open the tool so this circuit uh, we are going to rig up now i already checked the output now once again i'll uh, uh, build this circuit once again okay uh, we require file open new file we require what are the components required? We require one to give the signal, one function generator, one oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope, uh, two, three, four resistors, two capacitors, one transistor. Okay, I'll place one by one. So first, I'll place four resistors, place component, place component resistor it is available in the base kit select resistor click ok four times you have to press in vertical means you have to press control r this is for voltage divider later i can change the values one for emitter resistance the placed emitter resistance will be done by next i want transistor I'll go to groups in transistor we have one and two in two 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 okay two in two 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 a or you can also select bc 107 also you can select So transistor is over we want the one function generator is there in the right side we want on ground the source group ground you can select i'll place two ground let me if you if you require me i'll just check it out next um, we want one power supply i can use dc power supply positive or negative or i can use Maybe 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, cancel it because it is C. Next is I have to finish all of this. You can adjust, you can click and drag to make it show the line, right line. Click here, this line, go right side. Click here. From here, you cannot start. connect these two. I want capacitor no this component this chip in the loop you select basic loop where capacitor will be there click uh, two capacitors two times one more time at the right side to get the here output is taken across Emitter. Emitter voltage follows the output voltage. You can start from here. Only in the components you can make the connection. Here the connection here. Uh, this is uh, 12 volts, 22, 6.8k, 22k, 6. This one double click on this 10k, change the value to 22k, change that value to 22k. By default, uh, some resistance will be there that you can modify to any value you want 22k. This is 6.8k. You refer manual for design why we selected uh, those values. Because uh, if I explain design everything, it will become one hour video and nobody will watch if it is one hour video. So here I will just explain how to get the output using multi-sim tool. Design part you have to refer another video. Okay, 12 volts. 12 volts VCC ground is also there. You can connect either side, no problem. Mm, here, I think function generator, right side function generator is there. You can place here. Okay. Plus should be connected here and ground. This ground you can connect here or you can connect here. Uh, this side is over. Okay, this is also over. 560 10k. This one I have changed it to 560. That one oscilloscope is required. This is not 10k, this is 560 ohm. Double click on the 10 kilo ohm, change it to 560 ohms only. Next, uh, we want one oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope, we place here. One channel, channel number A, you connect to see the output here. Ground, you connect to here. Okay, to see the input also here, another channel B is there. We can make use to, if you get like this, you can click escape. So that you can start from here once again. Go up. I will change the color also. I click on this to color segment. 
set mint color i'm changing into the blue color output to green color next output i change it to green color input to blue color next uh, uh this one ground is here sufficient i think it will work otherwise we want to connect second ground also we can connect it to ground okay if you want ground also you can change the color to black color if you want okay next mm, we'll run now okay any input whatever input we had given input is give some uh, one kilohertz input one kilohertz and amplitude two volts okay sinusoidal i had given i double clicked the function generator set the frequency to one kilohertz amplitude to one one amplitude to two volts so since it is emitter follower emitter should follow the input voltage so emitter output expected output is what expected output also should be two volts okay let us verify run this double click on this Now this is okay. This is done. This is done. M P M emitter from output we have taken. We have taken from here one microfarad, ten kilo ohm. Okay, for this circuit, output is actually coming. Let me see here also. We should get the output. Let us check once again. Machine five sixty one. Okay, five sixty one. If I delete this, let me check only. Output is actually is not showing anything. Let me check what is the problem. I just connect. Uh, just connect only one channel. That is input. What is the input is coming here? We'll check it out. What is the input? Sinusoidal. One kilo. But oh, it is emitter. That's why should be heard. Two hundred. That's why it was not coming. Okay, now we'll run this. Now it is actually coming. Previously it was from femtohertz, that's why it was not taken properly. Now actually both are overlapping because input and output are same. No, it is overlapping. That's why we're not getting this. So we'll change this one to two volts. It's also two two volts. Now one uh, both the colors are different. Now we'll change the scale division. Okay. Input and output both are actually same. If you click single, you can see. If you make both the scales as two only, see both are overlapping. If I ground channel A, the red color is actually output. Now if I this one and if I ground channel A, this is input. Blue color is input. See, blue color is connected to the input. Blue is this. Okay, now this output channel A that is red color. Now 
from blue color channel B U ground. Now both are grounded. Now see only red color output. See this output and uh, this output both are same overlapping. If you want to have offset one top and another down, uh, you can give this positive. You bring this waveform to positive. See both are actually same waveform. Output following input. This is output red color is following input. Same frequency, same thing. Only difference is current gain will be more. Okay, this is called as voltage for here. And if you double click and change, if I double click and change the amplitude, output also changes. Cannot give too much more value. See output following input. Okay. Don't give four and five and all. Just give around two volts. Same output will come. Input and output will be same. Application of voltage follower is wherever impedance matching is required. Uh, we are going to use this circuit because this circuit has high input impedance, zero output impedance, uh, less uh, low output impedance. Like uh, your op amp characteristics. See, if you make offset is equal to zero, exposition is bring output is coinciding with input. That means output follows input. Emitter voltage follows. This is emitter. Emitter follows input. That's why it's called as emitter follower. And output is coinciding both. Thank you.